Hey folks, G Honda here, and welcome back to Auction Not Included. This is episode 54. In the last episode, we upgraded the bedrooms here to luxury barracks, very nice, and started putting in, and in fact, looks like basically finished putting in the Atmos food, su ah, excuse me, let's try that again, Atmos suit dock. So that would be very helpful. Obviously, we don't have the plastic to finish the passage to jump people up here quick and easy yet, but we'll get to that. I got thinking, obviously the whole point of that was to put the rockets in here, but I don't think anybody even has, I don't think I ever gave anybody like, suit wearing skills. I'll just buzz it. Oh, I gave you a little bit of it. But yeah, I don't think the vast majority of our people are going to be very good at them, so we're going to have to fix that. Uh, Stinky for sure is going to need them because he's going to be the pilot, of course. So yeah, it looks like their morale is going to hold, so that's okay. Oh, you're going to make me actually click, click, click. Okay, fair enough. Uh, who else, though, would be make sense? I probably will want, you know, some kind of builder, digger type person. So probably Ruby would make some sense. Uh, and maybe one more, just in case. So Ruby doesn't have to do, like, absolute everything. I'm just looking for people up here that have these kind of skills. That's... Well, you're kind of there. Ah, oh, you. Yes, perfect. And Absurdities. There we go. So yeah, so Absurdities, Ruby, and Stinky will be the ones that are allowed to go through here when I finally get the... In fact, I guess I could do it now, right? Yeah, you will have full access both ways, so, and so will Stinky and Ruby. Everybody else, though, can only come back in, they won't be allowed out. Okay. Now obviously right now there's probably other ways to get out there. Well, maybe not actually. Yeah, because they can't climb up here. There's no ladder. And this is all walled in, so... Okay, that actually is enough. I don't even need to worry about it. I thought there might be other routes there, but I guess so far there is not. Now the other thing though I got thinking about Stinky wherever he went. There you are. He's still wearing those lovely pajamas, and they are delightful, don't get me wrong, but they absolutely destroy athletics, and I don't think we want somebody who can't really move all that well doing that, so. Now, I think it said it ripped them. So does he actually destroy them, or is he just, has he dropped them somewhere? I don't know. I don't know if I can repair them or not, or whether I would have to get you know, a fresh batch out of here. But I'm guessing he just destroyed them outright. But that's okay. We're not really doing anything with the Dream Journals at this point anyway. They were very interesting, but I don't think I would call them critical. But yes, we do have a couple suits built. So let us go ahead and get them put. Did I build two or three? I think I only built two, right? Yeah, it looks like it. So I probably should build a third one. I should build a third one. They should all three of them have access to that. The other thing I was doing up here, I have the sweepy in place and the sweeper for it. But I'm thinking I want to put in, well, A, I want to put in sweepies on all three floors, but I also need to put in shipping. So let us go ahead and put in the sweepies. I do want one on each floor. You get a bin each. You get a sweeper each. Now, obviously I'll need power for all this, of course. There we go. And now we need some shipping for all this. Which means I guess I won't actually need the bins. If I, It can just go straight into the conveyor, so maybe I actually won't do the bins. We can actually just get rid of that bin. Alright. Try clicking right buttons, it works so much better. <laughs> All right, conveyor loader. And that can just go, I mean, it doesn't really matter where it goes, right? Anywhere here is fine. And the actual rail for it. Again, it doesn't really matter what the route is. Okay, so now we need to figure out. Okay, so it's gonna end up out here somewhere. I guess maybe the simplest way is I just cut it straight down like that, right? 
Oh no, that's the chute there. That's another loader. That's not right at all. Let's try that again. So yes, we're going to not connect you to that. We'll just put you down here. Actually, you know what? We'll just give you your own. Maybe that gives this one something to do. Yeah, that's better. Right. Conveyor shoot. There we go. Okay. So yeah, now that stuff can come down here. It'll just fall out, and then this one can put it into bins. Okay. That works. Let's let that all get going. Because that will take a while. Oh, we should be researching while we're waiting. And speaking of research, I noticed I apparently... I mean, I started on rocket stuff, but I never actually researched like an actual like rocket engine. <laughs> that would be kind of a good thing to have, right? You kind of need one of those for a rocket to work. <laughs> Down here? Ugh. Having said that, is there any reason this can't just all heavy want? I don't see any reason why all that can't just heavy want. So maybe I'll just take this transformer out and just heavy want all this. Cancel all that and just deconstruct all the wires in that section. And we'll sort it out properly in a minute. I think that's everybody. And if it's not, then we will sort it out. Yeah, temporarily food's going to be unrefrigerated, but that's fine. Okay, let me go and find something here, and I will be back. And we're back. I'm just going to grab a wart. I couldn't see anything that really jumped out at me, so... And I think... I, I'm sure I can find a spot where it'll be helpful. <laughs> Probably up here, this room is getting quite warm. I suppose I could actually pip it in. That might even be better. Yeah, I'm going to try and pip it in. Just to save a little bit of resource. It's not a huge difference, and if the pip won't end up doing it, I won't be upset. But... What we got there is our basic engines. Very good. So we'd like to plunk that there. And let's grab a pip. Hello. Little buddy. How would you like to come and plant a wart for me? You would? That would be great. These guys have tons and tons and tons of work to do, so I'll probably want to just fast forward through a lot of this, but... Okay, so I was sitting here in the part I cut, waiting for all the power to be built. That's fine. I was noticing this section here taking for absolute ever, and that's when I realized I need some ladders. <laughs> so all this time I was sitting here staring at this, wondering why they weren't getting to it when they did everything else around. They were even coming in and picking stuff up, so I knew they could get in here. They just weren't doing this part. So, the whole time this was off, which means this pump wasn't running, so we weren't getting any coolant up here. Yeah, it's coming in now. Yeah, we weren't, so I wasn't even getting more materials to build stuff, so that's what actually started it in the first place. I thought, well, maybe we're somehow out of iron already, but we definitely weren't. Anyway, so that was exciting. In the meantime, this is very nearly ready to print, and I'm probably going to grab another Oxy, because this is looking like a bit of a mess. We said that there's a lot of pressure here, so I wonder maybe I don't need another oxy. Do I maybe just need to be venting more out into space? There's nothing in it. This is the venting line. Half of it goes here, the rest comes from here. Okay, so I'm only venting then... Yeah, this part here. But I'm thinking I might want to start venting Ooh, too far. Stuff out of here. Right now I have any carbon dioxide, i.e. any non-oxygen, just coming over here to feed this oxy, and that's fine. But I'm starting to think I should actually just be venting more of it. Because the pressure in here is probably way too high. Yeah, it is. Okay. If I just branch off of here... I think that'll do it. I think it might be that simple. So all I want to do is just vent a bit more. Not all of it, but just, you know, about half of it. That should, I think, help the breathability in here quickly. Okay, so now you're starting to offload some of it. So the overall pressure in here should start to drop. 
Okay. Let me find something. I will be back. Okay, I'm just going to grab some glass, just in case I need more solar panels. I don't know if I need a solar panel on the rocket, or if I'm even allowed to do that, or if that's maybe a more advanced rocket, I'm not sure. But I'd like to at least have that option. So I think the overall breathability should slowly start to improve. It's going to take a while to catch up, of course, but I think that will help. Because the rest of the section is totally fine. Putting in the oxy over here has helped the bedroom side out. Well, this part's getting a little iffy as well, I guess. So maybe I did need another oxy. I don't know. No, we'll leave that for a bit and see how it goes. Is there anything I should be researching? Intake fillings. Ah, okay. Yes, I probably need these things, right? Okay, let's get those. I'm sure anyone who's actually ever done any of the rocketry stuff is probably yelling at me that I either I've missed something obvious or I should have had that stuff ages ago or what have you, but like I say, I've never done a rocket before, so I have zero clue. Has any of this been built yet? Nope, nothing. Okay. Actually, I never gave them a ladder from here to here. They can't build this part yet until this tube is properly done. So I need to give them somewhere to drop off so they can actually like, get over here to actually roll from this stuff. Whoopsies. <laughs> no wonder absolutely nothing has happened. Oh, hang on a second. You... Oh, no, you can get up here. That's fine. All right, never mind. We're good. I probably should still give them a drop-off sooner than this, like maybe halfway up, like here or something. Just to facilitate. Maybe over here. Maybe that would be a good spot where that would make sense. There's not really room for it there, huh? Uh, okay. So if I did something like that... Oh, no, right, I can't go through the pole. Never mind. Never mind. I suppose I could have a drop-off here in the freezing section, although I'm not sure why they would ever want to be in there. But I guess they could drop off here, then jump over to the pole to come down to get at this stuff. I guess that would be almost as good. It's not... Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Try again. Do it slow and your mouse will work a lot better. Is that high enough or does it need to be one more square? I think it might need to be one more square. No, oh, now you're not going to let me. Oh, now you're going to let me. Okay. There. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's a bit shorter a trip. In case they need to get up this stuff, is the theory. I don't know if it will ever actually matter or not, but that's the theory anyway. Either way, though, the fact that I saw you go out there proves this is, in fact, set up correctly. I've mostly been keeping an eye to make sure nobody else gets out here without a suit, but I'm pretty sure I have this set up correctly, so I don't think that's a problem. There we go. Excellent. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to have... Well, I guess the first couple of rockets, definitely this won't matter, but it does sound like something I should have, so let's grab that. Because obviously the first rockets, I'm going to have one, I think, for scanning and one for doing the actual orbital research. It's orbital something, anyway. Yeah, orbital data collection. I don't know if that can be the same rocket or if I need a separate one for each. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> We'll do it live! <laughs> I guess I may as well start putting in the... How much does this take? 800 of one of these. Yikes. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, let's start getting you in place here. Guess it doesn't really matter if it's kind of to the left or kind of to the right. I don't think it matters too much. But yeah, you're basically just going to live right there. Actually, I could put you down a little and use that as a natural floor. I'm assuming that to build the upper parts you need ladders, unless this thing lets you just build it from here and that just kind of clicks on, but I'm going to assume I'm going to need ladders. I could be wrong, of course, but I'm going to make that assumption. In fact, I might even put one on both sides. There we go. Yeah, obviously, I can't do anything with this until it's built, but that's fine. I probably should make sure I have a lot of copper. 
if you are done with the iron, and you appear to be. So let's bash out another block of copper. Okay, let's flow in the direction. Oh, interesting. Yeah, let's have that. I might as well let them start getting on this as well. Did I ever make enough steel? I think I did, because these are 500, right? These bunker doors? Pretty sure. Yeah. So I do have enough. I could actually let them start building on this stuff. Or maybe actually I should just do the ladder here, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. And I'll probably want to airlock that, right? And then, yeah, we can just put a ladder here when we're ready to... Actually, they, they'll probably do that anyway when I do this, so maybe this needs to come over one square. Does it? Or this, maybe this wire just needs to come over or something. Oh, it's gotta come in from underneath. Okay. Nope, it can't be heavy wadded. Okay. Does that not mean you're gonna have all sorts of wire breaks? Unless I give you a transformer? Ugh. Do I seriously have to give you your own personal transformer? Okay. Congratulations. Have your own personal transformer. So, and is that not going to get destroyed as the rocket goes by it? I don't know. I guess we will find out that too. <laughs> them one square to stand on while they're building this. It's probably not necessary, but just in case. I think that will make some form of sense, hopefully. Hopefully being the operative word. <laughs> Alright, then we can airlock that in. So now there shouldn't be any gap between here letting air out. Oh, what would also help though, I guess, would be if I actually powered you. That would be helpful. So yeah, you guys have an absolute ton of work to do, but that's fine. Meanwhile, how do we do here? Oh, this has made it much, much worse. Okay. Right. So, stop doing that and let the pressure build back up. And I can just add or subtract that whenever manually. But I think I definitely need an, in the next printing pod to get another oxyfern going. And I'll probably just put it in here. We are fine for food. So I definitely don't need to worry about having less of these. Or for that matter, I suppose it could just go right here, right? Yeah, we'll just do that. There we go. There we go. And I will be back with an Oxyfern. And we're back. One Oxyfern. I very nearly gave up and just grabbed some plastic because it was taking a very long time, but... I hung in there and eventually we got an Oxyfern. So you're just waiting on some fertilization, and then for there to be a little bit more carbon dioxide in here. But that shouldn't take long. You've done any portion of this? Well, you've done a bit of the ladders. And you got the... Well, I guess this is going to be an airlock issue, isn't it? Right. Okay. So how much actual power does this scanner use? Because maybe I can just conductive wire it. You're only 120, so maybe instead of heavy wadding, I just use this transformer. Because then... I can use a proper airlock, and you can put a conductive wire through an airlock, which you can't put... Uh, heavy walk through it. Okay, I think that would be better. Because then we can maintain the air pressure here without messing around too much. That will be good. I just, like I say, I just don't know if this stuff will get destroyed by the heat as the rocket goes by it. 
or if I'm going to have to do some kind of crazy like wire to one side and then you know, loop a wire all the way around to get to this one. I don't know. Or if it gets real crazy, put a you know solar panel on this side just to power the door. I mean, that just seems silly, but I really don't know. Probably will need a ladder, though, here. Just to make it a little easier. I think they can jump that anyway. It should be fine by standing on the door, but... Or for that matter, standing here, jumping up onto here, and then jumping onto here. But I think this will just be nicer. And again, hopefully the rocket's heat is contained to the areas where the blast doors are and it doesn't, like, belt stuff away over here or something. Again, we'll find all that out. We're finally getting some of this shipping line done. And why are you not recharging? You absolutely should have power. Pretty sure I didn't screw up your power, did I? No, you definitely have power. So why are you not recharging? Is that because you can't unload right now? Do I definitely have to have a bin until I get this stuff done? Okay. And congratulations, have a bin. In fact, have two. Which means the other ones probably are in the same state, right? Somebody gonna come build my bins for me? Take that as a no. Oh, it's mostly sleepy time, okay. That's right, it's the shift two sleep time. Now, yeah, hopefully somebody will come and do that. Oh, somebody was up there. Didn't see what you did. Oh, you did one of the bins. Perfect. You don't seem to be... Oh, that's right. This thing has to do it, right? And this thing hasn't been built yet. Fair enough. So maybe we should take them up just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're not going to do super high priority. <laughs> I'll be a good boy. Now, I guess, actually, you require... Mechatronics. Did any of the people I give suits to actually have mechatronics? You do not. I can't imagine you do. And no, so nobody's actually even going to be able to build them. Okay. Uh, who has the most morale available? You definitely do not. You are close. Not so much. Okay, so that could be a problem. Who is my mechatronics? Was it Nicola? Oh, you're actually really close to here, so why don't I just give you suit wearing and let you come do this? That's probably far, far easier. So, Nicola is allowed out when there's a suit. Should I build an extra suit dock? Probably. Which also means I need to move this. There we go. Okay. And we will need one more. One more suit, please. Thank you so much. There we go, Nick. One. So yeah, you can start working on all this rail for me. Fantastic. Oh, power as well, right? Yep. Now that they're... Oh, they have already built... Okay, so these don't take very long to build then. Okay. I don't know if you remember, when I first built this forge, I said I was building it extra early because I thought these took a long time to build, but clearly they do not. Or at least it will be once we have enough oxygen. Which is coming, so that's fine. So yeah, so Nicola can start working on all of that bit. But yes, now you're starting to move over there. Oh, power. Right. Those bins need power. Completely forgot about that. Uh-oh. Somebody has done the silly. Oh, you sure did, didn't you? Okay. And that's going to be exciting for you. What is nearby? Igneous Rock. Congratulations, you get to build yourself some temporary oops. Some temporary ladders to get out of here. If even somebody can get those over to you. I want to see somebody running very quickly. And if I don't, I'm just gonna have her dig herself to freedom by falling. I will 
give you a few more seconds to see somebody come running. I don't see somebody coming running. Okay, plan B. You are going to dig yourself out. I'm just going to grab some copper. I don't really need it, but I just want something quick because I'm kind of distracted right now. You were the stronger digger, I'm sure. Yeah, you can dig that. Okay. You can put that back. And let's try to not trap ourselves, okay? Thank you. <laughs> I guess building this part, I may need to give them some temporary ladders. Just so they can build this bit. But that's fine. Okay. So... Yeah, I actually was going to call the episode a minute or two ago, and then all that happened, but I'm going to call it there. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe, it really does help. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. See ya.